What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So, Apple actually just released the first rapid security response, not in beta form, but actually meant to address some bugs that needed urgent attention in the form of 16.4.1 first rapid response. This is an A release, we'll check it out. And for those of you not familiar with this, these are actually installed and found the same way as a traditional software update would. So you're gonna go into your settings, and then obviously, as you can see, general, and then software update, and you will see right here, iOS security response 16.4.1a, and before I downloaded it, it actually had a 50, excuse me, 85 megabyte size, which is significant. The other beta releases were not that large at all, so you will find it the same way, install it the same way you would. I doubt the support document is updated yet, but if it is, you'll be able to see exactly what was added. And obviously, you can see this was actually published May 1st, so it is. So this will give you a breakdown about rapid response. It doesn't actually show you the specifics here as far as what it was, but that is how you do it. One good call out on this page is the settings. And as you can see here, it says, by default, your device allows rapid security responses to be applied automatically. And if necessary, to promote you, prompt you, excuse me, to restart your device. Um, to check your device settings, you can do all this and make sure that the automatic updates are on and specifically for security responses and system files is turned on. So this can be turned off if you so choose. I wouldn't recommend it. You can leave it as is and it will always pull in those updates. So nothing else is really listed here. Obviously, you can see here it's talking about um, an example here is Mac OS 13.3.1a. Nothing else really is listed here specific to this build that we just got. The article just happens to be updated on May 1st, which is today. So having said all that, again, you can go ahead and install it. And when you do so, it will, it will prompt you like usual. There has been some errors, as you can see here currently, with actually verifying the security response. So this is a temporary thing. It will not go through currently. Even you might try it 10 different times, but just not currently going to go through to pass the check. Once this happens and Apple's triggers it on the back end, you will be good to go. So you can download it, just can't install it quite yet. But yeah, that's it for this one. This is something new Apple has really initiated in the last couple of builds. They tested a bunch from Mac OS and obviously iOS. This is the fr first fruits of the labor. So obviously they're having some issues along the way with consistency and getting it deployed. But again, about 85 megs, go ahead and download it and you will be able to actually install it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.